Hello everyone, my name is Alicia Hewlett. I had the opportunity to conduct my research at the University of Mississippi Medical Center under Dr. Bernadette Grayson. My project focused on subacute changes to Peyer's patches in a rat model of thoracic level spinal contusion. Individuals with spinal cord injuries suffer long-term devastating consequences. Patients with spinal cord injuries are more likely to develop metabolic diseases such as obesity and diabetes, which could reduce the effectiveness of treatments to rehabilitate the cord and enhance long-term quality of life. The initial spinal cord injury is characterized by significant alterations in the trauma location as well as systemic changes that affect the digestive system. Gastric emptying is delayed, peristalsis is slowed, and solute absorption is changed in people with spinal cord injury. Pyrus patches are the immunological sentinels of the gastrointestinal system. They are non-encapsulated lymphatic tissue, which are classified as specialized oval-shaped gut-associated lymphoid tissue. They sample, luminum, I'm sorry, they sample luminal antigens, monitor bacterial populations, mount an appropriate response to encounter, encounter antigens, and protect against pathogenic microbes. Because spinal cord injury has had such a significant impact on the gastrointestinal system, we wanted to see what impact it has on Peyer's patches. We hypothesized that injury to the spinal cord alters the cell content and inflammatory environment within the Peyer's patches, resulting in altered GI function. Adult male Long Evans rats were utilized in this investigation and they were given either a thoracic level 10 spinal contusion or a sham laminectomy. For four weeks, the animals were fed normal rat chow to recover. Body weight, food intake, and adiposity were all measured. After four weeks of surgical recovery, the pyrus patches were extracted from the proximal and distal intestine and processed for real-time PCR and Western blot analysis to assess gene expression and protein levels in the pyrus patches. Tonal staining was also used to determine the cell turnover rate in the pyrus patches. All of what I have mentioned is demonstrated in the experimental design. Figure 2A shows the body weight of the sham and SCI rats over the course of 28 days. The line with the blue points represents the body weight of the SCI rats. Their body weight was much lower than the sham rats body weight, which is represented by the line with the black dots. Figure 2B shows the terminal body weight measured 28 days post-surgery. We found that there was no significant difference for the terminal body weight between both groups. Figure 2C shows the measurements of the fat mass composition. The fat mass in the SCI rats, which is represented by the blue violin plot, was significantly lower than the fat mass in the sham rats, represented by the black violin plot. Figure 2D shows the lean mass composition measurements. There was no significant difference in the lean masses between both groups. Figure 3A shows the nuclear staining of the proximal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. Figure 3B shows the nuclear staining of the distal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. Figure 3C shows the levels of the T-cell marker CD4 in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. There was no significant difference in the gene expression in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in both the sham and SCI rats. Figure 3D shows the level of the macrophage, the macrophage marker CD68 in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. There was a significant difference by region of the gene expression. The gene expression in the distal pyrus patches represented by the blue violin plots was much lower than the proximal pyrus patches represented by the black violin plot. Figure 3E shows the levels of the dendritic cell marker ITGAX in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. There was no significant difference in the gene expression in the proximal and the distal pyrus patches in both the sham and SCI rats. Figure 3F shows the levels of the panhematopoietic marker PTPRC in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. There was no significant difference in the gene expression in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in both the sham and the SCI rats. Figure 3G shows the Western blot analysis of the CD68 protein levels in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. There was a significant difference by injury and by diet. The protein expression in the distal pyrus patches represented the blue violin plots, 
was which was represented by the blue violin plots was much lower than the proximal pious patches represented by the black violin plot. This data correlates with the bands located under the graph. The bands in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the SCI rats was much lighter and thinner than the bands in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham rats. Figure 4a shows the tunnel staining of the apoptotic cells in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. The neon green dots represents the apoptotic cells in both the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the SCI rats. There were fewer apoptotic cells in the proximal and the distal pyrus. I'm sorry. There were fewer apoptotic cells than the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the SC in the sham rats. Figure four B corresponds to the figure four B corresponds to four A. It shows the quantitative analysis of the apoptotic cells in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. There was a significant difference by injury. In both the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the SCI rats, represented by the second black violin plot and second blue violin plot, the level of the apoptotic cells was lower than the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham rats, which was represented by the first black violin plot and the first blue violin plot. Figure 5a shows the gene expression of inflammatory mark marker interleukin 1a. There was a significant difference by injury. In both the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the SCI rats, the inflammatory gene expression was lower than the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham rats. Figure 5b shows the gene expression of the inflammatory marker interleukin 1b. There was no significant difference in the inflammatory gene expression in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in both the sham and SCI rats. Figure 5C shows the gene expression of the inflammatory marker interleukin-4. There was a significant difference by injury and by region. In both the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the SCI rats, the gene expression was lower than the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham rats. The distal pyrus patches inflammatory gene expression in both the sham and SCI rats were overall much lower than the proximal pyrus patches in the sham and SCI rats. Figure 5D shows the gene expression of the inflammatory marker interleukin-7. There, there was a significant difference by injury in both, there was a significant difference by injury. In both the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the SCI rats, the gene expression was lower than the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham rats. Figure 5E shows the expression of the inflammatory marker nuclear factor kappa light chain enhancer of activated B cells, also known as NF kappa B. There was a significant difference by injury. In both the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the SCI rats, the inflammatory gene expression was lower than the proximal and distal pyrus patches in the sham rats. Figure 5F shows the gene expression of the inflammatory marker toll-like receptor 4. There was no significant difference in the inflammatory gene expression in the proximal and distal pyrus patches in both the sham and SCI rats. Considering all of this, we were able to summarize our key findings. We found that the spinal cord injured rats have a significant change to their body composition one month following injury. We believe this was due to motor deficits resulting from spinal cord injury. We also discovered that the pyrus patches cellular makeup changes significantly, particularly in the ileum. We summarized that pyrus patches from spinal cord injured rats appear to have a reduced cell turnover rate. We believe this is due to innervation. Lastly, pyrus patches derived from spinal cord injured rats had lower levels of inflammatory markers. Overall, we found that one month after injury, Spinal cord injured rats have lower gut immune responses, particularly in the distal PP, than sham injured rats. Thank you.